Hello. Today we're going to take a look at one of the exciting capabilities of Explore Analytics using the self-service mashup to combine data from multiple tables or data sources into one view. Let's start with a quick example. Let's suppose I want to combine two sets of data together. I have a trend of incidents by month that have been opened up uh, to our support team. And I also have a trend of calls by month from a call system that's going to show me you know, what calls have been made to our service desk. I want to combine this information together without having to call an administrator to create a database view or code anything for me. Everything we're about to do is completely self-service and run live. I'm going to go to File, New Mashup View, and I'm going to select two views that I've already created to combine them together into one report. So I'm going to call this Trend of Incidents and Calls by Month. And I'm going to select those two input views that we saw. So input trend of incidents and input trend of calls by month. You see that that's an autocomplete, so it looks and finds those for me. I can add additional views if I wanted to put in more information, but for right now, we'll do incidents and calls by month. So when I click OK, it's going to create this mashup view that's bringing together to me both of those sets of data. So I can see that, you know, in September of 2014, we had 652 incidents and we had 40 calls, and that's all being presented together. It's being run live, and it didn't require me to code or script or do anything like that. Now, if I want to see those views that created this, I can click Edit Input Views. So here are the two reports that I pulled together. You'll see that they're actually coming from two different data sources. One is ServiceNow, looking at the incident table. The other one is looking from uh, our locally stored Explore data source that has some calls uploaded. So this could be ServiceNow and another you know, SQL database. It could be a SQL and an Oracle database. It could be Salesforce and a spreadsheet. You know, Wherever that data lives, we can combine that together. It's important to know that when I created this, it creates copies of both these views, so any changes I make to those inputs won't actually impact the original views that I created. So for example, if I click onto incidents, uh, trend of incidents by month, I'm now looking at the input view that goes into this. If I click choose fields and say, well, actually let's break this up by priority, and now I can use this breadcrumb to go back to that original mashup view. And let's make this a combo chart and show the calls as a line, just for clarity purposes. So now you can see that the incidents are broken up by priority, like we specified in that input view, and the calls are just a single line. So you can still go in and play around with the data you know, once you've created your mashup just by going to edit input views and updating those. So to recap, we have a live report bringing together data from two different data sources and combined live without requiring code, script, database manipulation, or any other intervention. It's truly self-service. Let's take a look at another example. Uh, here I have two pivot reports. I have one called Incidents by the Caller's Department. So this is showing me the number of incidents that were opened by quarter in 2015, grouped by the department of the caller who opened them. Now I have another report called Requests by Requester Department that's you know, very similar. It's actually breaking up the requests that were opened um, you know, by quarter within the year. And it's grouped by the department for the person that the request was requested for. So we want to put this together to get a single consolidated view of how much demand is coming into my department. And since they're both pivots, we can again easily combine them together by going again to File, New Mashup View. And I'm going to create a new report called um, Demand by Department. And again, it's Input Incidents and Input Requests. And again, I could do three or four, but for right now, just those two. So you'll see, you'll notice that something has happened when I created this mashup. One of these is, was grouped by the department of the caller, which is incident, and the other one was grouped by the request to for's department. So the mashup is treating those as separate groupings, and we're not really getting that side-by-side -side experience we wanted. But that's okay. This is very easy to address. I click Edit Input Views. I go to the to the first view, 
and I'm just going to relabel the colors department field to just be called the department. I'm not making any changes to the data source or changes to the, how that view is made. I'm just very easily tweaking those input views. And I'm going to do the same for the request by requested for department. So now both of these are grouped by different fields, but we're labeling them department. And now you'll see that in this overall mashup view, it works the way we want. We have everything grouped by department. And within each quarter, I can see the number of incidents and the number of requests. This is truly powerful. What we're saying is, is that the data might be in different fields that don't share the same name. And I, as a user, can configure it and update it properly without having to code or script or actually update the fields within ServiceNow in that way. So now you'll see that we're showing this total of incidents and requested items in, in parallel columns. Those are the value fields that you're seeing right here. But let's suppose I wanted to combine those rather than displaying them together. There's two ways that I could do that. One is, in this, uh, this Edit Mashup Fields window, I could click this calculator icon and create a new field called tasks by putting the incidents plus the requested items. This is our self-service calculator um, that allows you to create, this is our self-service formula builder that allows you to create on-the-fly calculations as part of your report using simple add, subtract, multiply, and divide. So I'm going to click OK and you'll see that there's a third column here called tasks so I can see the number of incidents, the number of requested items, and the number of tasks all grouped the same way. Again, that's a live calculation that's being done as part of this report, and I didn't have to code or script. But let's suppose I'm not actually interested in seeing these three columns together. I'd want to actually just represent it in one view. Let me remove that calculation. And then I can do, as we did before, go to each of those input views. And this time, instead of relabeling the grouping, I'm going to relabel the value itself. So I come here and instead of calling this incident, I'm going to call that tasks. And I'm going to do the same for the requests by requester. So just by making sure that these values have the same name, when I go back to that demand by department view, you'll see that now we have just one value called tasks. And in each quarter, we can see the sum total of incidents and requests. So you have flexibility on do you want to combine this data or do you want to overlay it and do some calculations on top of it? These are a lot of the basic functionality and information you need to know to be able to um, very easily you know, do those mashups. And, and we've covered a lot of the basics of the mashup. So you can play around and see what kinds of metrics and KPIs you can build for that. A couple examples, and these examples are pulled from our ITSM analytical application, is for instance, this is an incident per user trend. This is a mashup that's bringing up right now the number of incidents that are currently open, the number of users that are currently active, and if I click that edit mashup fields, I can say this incident per user is a calculation. So this is being done live and up to the minute. If I want to, I can actually snapshot this on a regular basis using our track trend capability, and we can do some trending. So this is a trend of a calculation that's pulling from multiple tables together to give us this incident per user scorecard that I can then see how that incidence per user has changed over time. So there's a lot of power and a lot of capability to use this to build a lot of advanced metrics to do things like what's the cost per incident or you know how do we put together you know knowledge ar article information and incident information. So uh, this is very powerful. It's all self-service. It's all live. Feel free to give this a try and see what you can build with it.